The first time I remember seeing Eric Little, he was running. I remember watching him, putting all his strength into every step. I will never forget Eric Little running. Ever. Eric Little was running to save my life. saying in China, a life is like a piece of paper on which every passerby leaves a mark. I will tell you a story, a story of a man named Eric Little and how he changed my life forever. He had no slanted eyes, no thick black hair. He was blonde and blue-eyed and fair as snow. But he was born in China, and China would forever be in his heart. Runs like the wind! <laughs> Atta boy, Eric! Oh, James! <laughs> Who knows, Mary? Maybe his speed will come in handy someday. In God's work? Oh, Mary dear, we have our plans and the Lord... Well, the Lord has his. Eric, get away with you! <laughs> come on, lad, come on, lad, chase me! It has been said, a young branch takes on all the bends one gives it. The winds of change were blowing, and, like many children of missionaries, Eric was sent to England to study when he was six years old. Won't you come too, Father? I shall visit you and your brother very soon, Eric. But for now, God needs us here in China. It's where he has called us to do his work. Then one day, I shall return to China too, Father, to work for God here. Come on, Eric, let's explore the ship. School provided education. Life itself would provide other lessons to make the boy a man. And leading the race is none other than national champion Eric Little, ladies and gents. There he goes. Oh, you boys got no style, Tom. What kind of a coach are you? This man of speed continues to win race after race. And my, oh my! Little has just tripped and no Amazing! Eric Little heads back into the race. But there's no way he'll be able to make it. Now keep your eye on him. Unbelievable, ladies and gents. Little is catching up, man. Arms flinging, knees raising, head starts to go back, eyes up, and he's off like a rabbit running for his life. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> Mr. McCurchill, he made it! He made the team! Of course he did! What'd you expect? How do you do it, Harry? Me? I just hate to lose, that's all. <laughs> no, seriously. I, I run as fast as I can for the first half and then... Then? I ask God to help me for the second half. Then he has helped you all the way to the Olympics in Paris. What? The 100 meter sprint at the Olympics, Eric. You're 40. The Olympics? I made it. You're a winner without a doubt, Eric. You'll be an Olympic champ for Scotland, for Britain. Who 
Oh dear. I'm afraid there might be a slight problem. Nothing short of a nationwide disappointment. National champion Eric Little, a surefire winner that could land the gold for England, refuses to participate in the upcoming Olympics because his race is on a Sunday. Some are calling him a disgrace. A traitor. That's what they call him. A letdown to his own people. As an Olympic committee member says, If you ask me, it's country first, God second. In that order of priority. I'm not going. No, no, Eric. Let's be reasonable. Let's... Doing what God expects of me is the most reasonable thing I can do, Tom. But it's the Olympics, for heaven's sake. It's what every athlete dreams of. And I no less, Tom. But it's God first and athletics second. Listen, Tom. I appreciate all you've done for me, and I hate to disappoint you, but... I have promised God my best, and my best is to honour him. I know better than to argue with you, Eric, but it seems to me that if you really want to honour God, you've got an opportunity right before you. God has his ways, Tom, and I just don't question them. If that costs me the Olympics, then so be it. I'm sorry, but... Traitor. That's what they call him. A letdown to his own people. Then one day I shall return to China too, Father. China too, Father. It seems to me that if you really want to honour God, you've got an opportunity right before you. Some say I'm displeasing you. Some say I'm a traitor, but Lord. Am I not to honour you by obeying your commandments and keeping the Sabbath holy? I'm not much at all, Father, but I love you and I want to use all you've given me for your glory here or in China, liked or despised. Lord, whatever you want, here I am. Huh? Eric! Eric! Tom? W what time is it? It's time for you to pack! That's what time it is! What? What are you talking about, Tom? It's the 200 metres! It doesn't take place on Sunday! And the committee, they've said yes! They said you could be placed in the 200 and perhaps the 400 and... Oh, Eric! What? What do you mean? What I mean, Mr. Little, is that you're going to the Olympics! <laughs> you're going to the Olympics! What? But, but I'm not prepared for either one of those races, I... Oh, never mind that, boy! You will be! We'll get you prepared, we will! Because you're going to the Olympics! You're going to the Olympics! <laughs> you're quiet out there! Oh, you be quiet, you old grump! Eric Little's going to the Olympics! <laughs> it has been said, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. And following God's path for Eric meant just that, one step at a time, in the Olympics. It's a blistering hot day in Paris today as the runners prepare for the 400 meters race. Competing in the event, Imbach for Switzerland, Court Taylor and Horatio Fitch for the Americans, and for Great Britain, Guy Butler and Eric Little. The Scottish national champion who refused to run what he has excelled in, the 100 meters, because it was on Sunday. He is not expected to do well. The Bible says, he that honors me, I will honor. Ah, for Mark! Oh my goodness! 
gentlemen, what a race! I run as fast as I can for the first half, and then trust God for the second. <laughs> you did it, Eric! You did it, my boy! Eric Little! Eric Little, ladies and gentlemen, has won the race. A more unlikely winner there could not have been. Eric Little, gold medal champion in the 400 meter. My, oh my, what a race! And he continues to triumph. If it's little in the race, you can be sure he'll be taking the medal home. A busy man with a busy schedule. Races, meetings, speeches. Eric Little is truly a national sensation. Chinese wisdom teaches that gold is tested by fire and man is tested by gold. If people thought that Eric simply changed his mind about his athletic career when he decided to leave England, they were mistaken. It was for God that he ran in Paris, and now God called him back to China. Eric simply followed God with the same zeal with which he ran. Eric honored God, and now God honored Eric. filled stadiums with his victories. He has filled halls with people eager to listen to him speak about God. And now, at the pinnacle of success, Eric Little leaves it all behind. Will you be bringing back medals, Mr. Little? Will you be a champion racer in China? Ah, laddie. The Lord has asked me to run a different sort of race. Christ for the world! For the world needs Christ! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Goodbye now! Now, why is this so familiar to me? Perhaps because she is just like her father. Run, run, run. <laughs> Which reminds me, sweetheart, we best be getting to the stadium. I'm due to run for the school. <laughs> Funny. Here I've been on the mission field as a teacher for all these years, and still God has me run. Well, it's a good way to get close to your Chinese students. Think of how many have come to know God through our work. Pastor Little, you come stadium now? We cheer you! We cheer you! How you say? Ra, ra, ra! Xie <laughs> 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 ni! They're the future of China. It's their future I'm concerned about. Rumor has it the Japanese are closer to an invasion than we expected. Well, it's safe enough inside the foreign compound. We're under the protection of Europe. Thank God for that. His students loved to watch Eric run. It was a relatively peaceful time for Eric. Until the invasion turned into an all-out war. All done! <laughs> They're sleeping soundly now. What, what should do you we think? <laughs> <laughs> I think I should stay. But you and the girls, I think it's best to... Eric Little, your 
you're my husband. My place is right beside you. God called us here. And until he indicates otherwise, this is where we'll stay. As a family, God will take care of us. What is it, Eric? I've been asked to go to the surrounding areas to help get the wounded to the hospital in Xiao Chen. It would mean being away for a while, and I believe God wants me to go. But the Japanese army... I know. But we're here to help the Chinese. They are under attack. And the villagers need encouragement and help. Reports have come in that there is great suffering. I have heard it said, even a small light can be seen for miles. When all is darkness. Die. I want to die. I had been wounded and was dying. It was then that Eric Little found me. Die. Eric risked his life to rescue the wounded. While his family remained in a safer zone, he took me and others to a makeshift hospital. Eric saved my life, but I only wanted to die. It's all right. Here, this will make you feel better. He hurt very badly. Sword cut very deep. Other men die. He takes time to heal. Deep wound. Yes, Wang. It will take a while for him to heal. And how's the patient? He's doing much better. He needs rest, but doing much good. Ni hao ma, Hu Shu. Why do you smile, you stupid man? What? Only a stupid man does the stupid work you do. You are a loser, stupid man. You must be no good in your country to be a servant in ours. He no loser. He and I go find and save you and others bring you here. You say thank you, no grumble. You let him talk to you that way, Mr. Little? <laughs> I've been called worse, Wang. Why else is he here? But he's a loser. You pay peanuts, you get monkey. <laughs> Chinese proverb, I give you one. Donkey lips do not fit horses' mouth. But you, donkey lips, fit you pretty good. Wang! <laughs> I want to get out of here. I want to go home, get well there. Here is not Chinese. It is no good. It's bad here. It's cold. I understand you paint. We could use some paintings around the hospital. Something beautiful to brighten up You want the... beauty? You want bright pictures? There's your beauty. There's your bright picture. No more painting. You want picture? Here's your picture, stupid man. Here's your picture. You should have left me to die. No. You should have left me to die. Left me to die. Don't worry, Pastor Little. We send him out soon. We get rid of unthankful man. His wound almost well. No, Wang. It's not that wound I'm concerned about. He's got a deeper one than that. What? God is patient with each one of us, Wang. And we must be patient with Hu Shu as well. Where did the crazy man go? We short of call. Mr. Little, he volunteered to go. Bring back to hospital. That is a dangerous journey. Soldiers will stop him. Mr. Little, he know that. He know we need call bad, bad. He has no family. 
He has nothing to lose. No, no. He have wife and two daughters. Huh? He happy family man. He champion and hero in his own country. Why does he do it? Why is he here and not with his family? I do not understand this man. Why does he do it? You like proverb? Hear a good one. Men do not light candles and hide away, but put on candlestick where it gives light to whole house. Mr. Little, he teach me that. Jesus, light of God, fill Mr. Little heart. Jesus come and show God's love to all men. Miss Little do the same, just like Jesus, and teach me. And now, my heart full of God's love and light too. You're crazier than the crazy man. <laughs> You're crazier than the crazy man. 这这真的是物以类聚。本来只有以为有一个傻瓜而已，白痴的主人有白痴的仆人。<laughs> oh, so he came back safe. You have a beautiful family, Hugh Shu. They must miss you very much. Hugh Shu. All right, Eric. We better go. We have a few hours' journey, and the sooner we leave, the sooner you'll see your family. Thanks, Harry. Let's go. Welcome back, Miss Little. Where is Mrs. Little? I thought you go bring family. No, Wang, not bring, take. I have taken them to a ship. I have sent them away for safety. They are not here, Wang. They are gone. But Mister Little, why didn't you go with them? Why you stay? Because he stays to help us. Because he loves our people. <laughs> you shoo! You are a good man. You give so much for us. <laughs> What is the matter, you shoo? You know why I do not want to live. You know why? I was a happy man before. I had a good wife and good children, and a happy family. I had good work, and I lost everything. My wife, my children. Oh, I lost everything. When Japanese came, they told me to bow to them. I said no. Izami. Izami. We are Chinese. We only bow in respect. I did not bow to them. Izami. I spit in their faces. They took a sword and cut my. <laughs> you have experienced much pain. I'm sorry about your family. I don't cry for that. Long ago, I cried all tears. I cry because I lost everything. But you, I see you give up everything willingly. You lose all for me. You lose all for me. <laughs> I lose all for you, as Jesus did for me. Just as Jesus did for me. <laughs> What is that noise? What is happening, Wang? The hospital is evacuated. The Japanese come. And close up hospital. They hold their all foreigner to go away. They return them to foreign area. All of them? 
Yes! He is no more here! Mr. Little, he gone! In a surprise attack yesterday morning, a fleet of 350 Japanese aircraft descended upon Pearl Harbor on the Hawaiian island of Oahu. The devastation and loss of human life is frightening. It is estimated that nearly two... The foreigners became enemy nationals and were ordered to transfer to an internment camp. They were taken out in groups on designated days. Eric Little was forced to go. Glad to see you. So glad. Okay. This, this is for you. For you, Mr. Eric. The picture says, people living in darkness have seen a great light to people living in the shadow of death. Light has come. It is from the Bible. I see the light of God now. Okay, Gaiji. Okay. God be with you, Hushu, as he is with you. Mr. Eric. Mr. Eric. Chinese only bow to those we respect, Mr. Eric. Chinese say, when you bow, bow low. I got it. I will pray for you, Hu Shu. I will pray. The first time I saw Eric Little, he was running to save my life. He ran for God. He lived for God and he was prepared to follow God no matter where God led. We have a saying in China, distant water will not put out the fire close at hand. Our country was like a desert. Eric Little came to bring living water. He won no gold medals here. He won our hearts. And for that reason, to some of us in China, Eric Little will ever be a champion. Many of us are missing something in life because we are after the second best. I put before you what I have found to be the best, one who is worthy of all our devotion, Jesus Christ. He is a savior for the young and the old, and he, only he, is the one who can bring out the best that is in us. Lord, here I am. Eric Little was held a prisoner for two years in the Wei Xian internment camp, along with more than 2,000 people, including 327 children, until his death of a brain tumour in January 1945. When news of his death spread, memorial services for Eric Little were held worldwide at sports events, religious meetings, in schools, colleges and universities around the world. His Olympic triumph, as well as his devotion to God, were depicted in the movie Chariots of Fire, which was awarded the Oscar for Best Picture of 1981. Survivors of the internment camp have recounted stories of his continued Christ-like service to others and the influence he had on their lives. Schools and institutions have been named after him and numerous athletes influenced by his convictions. His legacy in China 
a country which soon after the war became closed to the gospel, has been enduring. Where the internment camp once stood, a memorial commemorates Eric Little, a man whose sincere obedience and love of God remains a testimony to this day.